Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number 11. Pushing on, pushing on, pushing on, pushing on. This war has been going on for, I think, eight episodes. <laughs> Didn't we get into war in like episode three or maybe it was even episode two? And it, it has not been a long time in game. I mean, considering, you know, normal one of my runs is what, maybe 40, 50 episodes at the most. And we've spent 10 episodes going less than, well, I, I guess slightly over 10% of the game, so that's, we're not, this is not going to be a hundred ter episode series, though, don't get your hopes up, or you can squash that fear, if, whichever way you would look at that kind of lengthy series. Okay, wow, latest army offensive has been a brilliant success, capturing valuable terrain, 1,200 victory points, not going to sneeze at that, but at the same time, it's not incredibly helpful, because we already have a huge victory point lead. The two light cruisers, I mean, this is a nice start. That is not a good follow-up. Unrest is still hovering pretty high. Convoy defense. Medium battle size probably means light cruisers against possibly their big fleet. I'm going to decline. Large convoy attack. I will accept. They decline. Okay, so that's 80 victory points for them. I think it was a wash. Then they give me this. I have to decline because I don't have any forces there. It's a bit... Troubling, but we got the 1,200 victory points, so it's still, I mean, if we just treat that as like a, a battle we had to, that the enemy declined or something, we come out about 1,100 victory points in the positive for that turn. What else do we have going on here? Well, we finished those coastal batteries. We only, were we only building three? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we were just building one everywhere else to make sure we had at least one six-inch battery covering everywhere. All right, let's take a look at the map. I'll need to pull this out. See how we're doing in terms of points, 59 to 26. We do need to get in some battles and uh, start, ebbing, you know, washing away those 12 destroyers. They do, okay, they don't have any ships in their home waters. It's time yet again for the Etna. She's been the most successful up there. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna move the Spilato. Um, I don't know why, just taking turns or something. And uh, hopefully when these finish working up, I mean, we're so close to the triple, we just need to, tripling their points, basically for the invasion chance, we're so close. With our extra money, let's build some extra docks while we have the time, the money, whatever, everything. Having finished those two light cruisers, we now have very little under construction and steel shortages. So we are having steel shortages. It's crazy. I think it's based on, I have no idea. I mean, and nobody has actually mentioned or really illuminated how this happens in the comments either. So this is just pure guesswork, total guesswork. I think it's based on how many ships you have under construction though, which doesn't make sense if it's not weighted by the type of ship. Obviously a minesweeper gonna require a lot less steel than uh, any other ship. And especially compared to any of the capital ships. It should be based on tonnage. I mean, that's like the best way to ratio, to give a, a ratio of how much steel a ship needs is how much displacement it has. Uh, okay, well, we'll just keep our nice budget for the time being, because I, I haven't gotten one of those great, okay, no, don't let them off lightly, good. Um, I haven't gotten one of those great technologies yet to spur on the next ship design. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. I don't like this one a lot. It is a large battle size, so it's possible, but normally what happens for these is that they end up sinking a lot of your ships away from where you are. We'll decline. Okay, 50 victory points, we can handle that, right? We're doing okay. Our budget seems to be going up as well. Maybe it's time to build some more coastal, fortif coastal fortifications at 20,000 a pop per month after they're done at least. If we're gonna do it ever, now is definitely the time. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's uh, take these and put them onto Coastal Patrol as well. I don't know if that helps with anything but submarines, but it might also help against the raiding. And I feel like we really do need to build another light cruiser. I just wish we had light cruiser armor configuration. So we'll go on with another. Yeah, so people are, I mean, they have 14 inch guns already. Nice, very nice for the British. And that is a hell of a ship. I'm not gonna argue. If I could build something like this, this is a semi-dreadnought. 
This is a damn good semi dreadnought. I would absolutely build something like this. I'd probably make that. Actually, we do have the quality one three inch guns. That's might, maybe not even that bad, because the ten inch guns are going to hit cruisers. So you, you know, the only thing you need with the tertiaries is to hit submar or destroyers. So I, I mean, I really like this. I have to give it to them. This is a great design. A bit slow, eighteen knots, but if you don't mind that. Somebody asked, by the way, about fire control, starting to upgrade my fire fire control. The problem is, while those ships are in port, they're not giving me the strategic points that I hopefully can use um, in order to force an invasion here. But we are getting creamed on the... Jeez, man. Seven ship? Okay, cruiser battle, we will accept. I'm skeptical. Okay, wow. Four. Wait, ah, darn it. Well, there's the 40 points back, so it's a, a wash there, but we lost more points because, I mean, hey, and we're on rest, okay, of six, that's fine. We're holding that. What's the situation like? We are blockading them. They have, well, we shouldn't be. I guess their battleship is either working up. Oh, they have a battleship, so it must be working up right now. So we were able to blockade them. And the battleship's worth eight points, I think, so... If we put a battle, boy, I never even thought about this. What if we just put a battleship over there? If we're not going to win this invasion opportunity thing, and certainly we aren't with the current ship configuration, the battleships are kind of useless, right? Unless they're going to force an invasion, they're useless here. Let's move. Well, we only have one non-short range battleship. What? Sorry, two. Let's move the Regulus over. Let's force the blockade. It's just, I'm fine with this. It's a pretty risky maneuver, but if it forces the blockade, hey, we're not doing anything with these ships in the Mediterranean, right? So might as well. Uh, budget, what's our yearly budget? So I think if we go um, to within 10% of this, so around 95, we'll probably start. Now, I think you can go over it even, but when you go over the yearly budget in your total funds, that's when they start possibly siphoning off money. Yeah, and we'll have to be very careful about how long the ship stays there because even the Splato, it's okay this turn, but we'll just keep cycling ships there. Um, yes, it's not really that significant. 10% discount is not that much, but it's just because it's a minesweeper. But we'll take that offer. Okay, rate of fires. Sorry if there's a if you're hearing the background noise. You're well, you're not deaf. That's definitely some noise going in the background. I can hear it. Pretty strongly, but the show must go on. Fleet battle. Okay. Interesting. What does the Venezia do? The Venezia is not in Northern Europe. Okay, here's the Venezia. And she is clearly in the Mediterranean. We are blockading the French in Northern Europe. I don't, don't know what's going on here. We'll fight it, but if it's an armored cruiser, I will be none too happy. Not that it couldn't have happened in the Mediterranean, so we could just pretend this was a Mediterranean. That, it's just, just weird though. A little bit confusing. We'll get in this battle. Okay, there's that. Squad Max. Let's figure out where we're at. we're in the good good shape in terms of wind. I'm going to assume this is a ship we can defeat. So let's just pursue directly until we find out it is an armored cruiser, and then turn around. Oh, it is the Forbin class. Okay. Now, can she outrun? She's 21 knots. Let's pursue and hopefully take her out. Four inch guns. This is definitely a target we can defeat. We just have to hope that our we can catch up and start firing before she before our grates get fouled by running at too high a speed for too long. Okay, so maybe we should go. Now, if I go fast, they're going to do these changes of direction before I'm able to react. And in that case, it would have been better for me not to have react. But what are, what is their purpose here? I think we are catching them. These uh, maneuvers on their part are not helping them. Slowly catching them. Slowly. Slowly. Are we in range yet? I'm going to let us open fire whenever we can, just because 
and we're just about to come into range just because uh okay that was bad on their part um we if we get any kind of good hits it'd be really good for us okay so let's close not to torpedo range but let's close okay there it is forbin getting hit now our accuracy at any given range is going to be better as well just because accuracy is a function of your weapon range versus maximum. What the heck? Are you serious? Salt feet. Yep. Machinery did. Well, that's really unfortunate. Critical hit. Um, all right. We'll see if we can still win this one, but likely that they have the opportunity now to escape. So that's going to be problematic. Maybe our machinery will be fixed in time, but I doubt it. They're now out of range. Probably this is the end of this. Okay. We need a, a message saying that the machinery is replaced before we uh, actually can go up to squad max, and I don't see such a message coming. Yeah. We might, and this is one of the sad things about this is we're going to lose the engagement too because they've done damage and yeah. Uh, I guess we'll let them come back into range, try to approach them from a weird angle because once we get them going the other way, I, I think there's a chance we can run into them. I They might already be gone. Yeah. Well, let's just go, Pfft. all right, whatever. <laughs> we should have won that one for sure. Our ship is better in every way, but no such luck this time, they escaped. And so it is the Mediterranean, it's very strange. Okay, coastal raid, Western France. So this is definitely in the Mediterranean area. I'm seeing one battleship and one armored cruiser. So let me accept. Yeah, okay, good. This is more up our speed. Now, it could be a battleship we face, but, you know, if that's actually the case, then we will have the uh, speed advantage and we'll be able to run away. So uh, I guess it's directing us down here to the mouth of the river. I, I know this river but not off the top of my head, so it doesn't count. Anyway, I think we're gonna run into some ships down here. There it is. A couple of ships. Let's bring our speed up. Interesting. I mean, potentially bad. This is, uh, yeah, one to two 10 inch guns, okay. Now, they have two armored cruisers firing at us, which will decrease both of their individual ship's accuracy. So our accuracy should be superior. Not to mention the Splato. Not, okay, crew quality is only zero. It's not terrible, at least. I had a feeling we would not land the first hit. There we go. Okay, exchanging some blows. Couple 10 inch hits. It'd be really nice if we could knock out the machinery. Oh, rudder damage. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna leave the speed on high even though it doesn't really matter because I think it decreases our, um, in, sorry, our chance to be hit. Decreases their accuracy if you're moving faster. And this is a, just a pain. Okay, we were actually able to land a few hits there. Um, would really like to have our machinery repaired. There it is. Alright, we are actually doing a number on this ship. So I'm going to go in full speed ahead. See if we can land a few shots from the side. There it is, a few more. I mean, we're really doing a number. If we can sink this ship, that would be a huge blow. 
Close enough to launch torpedoes. Do I trust our ship to launch torpedoes? Not really. Two non-penetrating hits. Very lucky for us. We have nice turret armor, I guess. Really, it's only five inches, but... Our boys are doing their job. Three more hits. Are they on fire? No. But they're dead. Okay, oh, come on. A ship that's dead in the water. Not dead in the water for long enough. Uh, I was going to say, this is the perfect opportunity to launch torpedoes. I'm going to risk it. No such luck. In fact, we didn't even land any hits. Weather is getting worse. I do want to sink this ship, though. Oh, God. Now we're the ones taking the hits. Just because she's on fire? She is on fire. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just because I don't want her to get back to port. She's really close to port. <laughs> so we do want to sink her very quickly. Can I force you to launch torpedoes somehow? How can I encourage you to plot of launch your torpedoes? My good friend. <laughs> Well, they're not going to do it on that run. We did land a few more hits, though, so let's pull off and uh, just do our best against the Montcalm. We know this is the Montcalm. We have the wind advantage. Okay. We got a few hits. Another hit. They aren't penetrating yet. I forgot what the Montcalms... I really should have paid attention to what the Montcalms... Uh, attributes were like the belt armor and all that. Okay, these are destroyers, which is not good. We'll go head on just to avoid potential torpedoes. Maybe fire a few. Oh, we did hit. Okay, let's go right in the wake. Wouldn't be a bad time also for us to go and run down the uh, other ship, make sure she's dead. I think this destroyer was trying to pick up survivors. And she's going really slow, therefore. So we're going to try... Oh! This is a different ship. It's the old Forbin. The one who escaped the last fight. Okay, well, fantastic. What a great, fortuitous occasion that we've run into this ship. And you know what? By all means, Forbin, I don't want you to, uh, <laughs> to be in, within torpedo range. Okay, don't pretend you don't know uncertain identity. After being certain of the identity, you are now uncertain of the identity, although the ship has never re left vision range. That's a mechanic I would change until you lose um, sight of it. Once you've identified it, you know what that ship is. It's a bit silly. Took a hit there, landed a few hits. We're going to pursue this one, though. Got a few hits. She's slowing down. Okay, she turned, that's nice. I'm gonna go down a little bit so that we can just hit her from a distance. The Spilato is really earning her stripes here. There will be a great reward for her crew once they return to port. So this is really good. Yeah, I think she's sinking. Still a little bit leery of being hit by torpedoes, so we'll try to avoid when we're off her um, starboard side. I mean off her um, broadside. That's really good. Okay, those hits. Not sure how many were actually hits, but that's going to be enough to convince me we've won this one. And now let's steam away. Well, uncertain identity again. It's always interesting. At a low speed. We don't have any flooding or anything. No. Took a lot of structural damage though, so we're quite happy to get away without there it is. We've sank the two ships we wanted. Those are some two ships. You know, you go in to sink two ships and you sink two transports or transport minesweep or something like that, usually. This run, exceptionally uh, lucky or high performing. <laughs> good. Very good. Well, that makes up for the not being able to hit the broadside of a barnyard in the original. So, sank two, did light damage to the other. Wish we could have gotten some of the destroyers, but what's interesting is hopefully we aren't interned in a port. Let's move this ship home. Yep, yeah, the Splatter will probably be interned after this, which is the unfortunate news. We did not blockade them, but that is because they moved a lot of their forces back, which means 49 to 3. We definitely have the means, definitely have the means to invade. So, if our battleship is not in terrible shape, 
and it's okay temporarily, we will push on one more turn. Seeing if we, wait, are, we're not blockading though. Yeah, with 24 points, let's bring her home. Although if they leave, no, nah, it's not worth it. Let's just bring her home. It costs nothing to move her back. And maybe it increases our chances of invading. And now they're one armored cruiser and one light cruiser down, although we're also down a light, an armored cruiser just because we won't probably be able to get her back. That is, I forgot, the huge disadvantage of not of you know playing where you don't have a port <laughs> that you can possibly get interned. There it is. But she did her job nobly. A destroyer raid. I kind of want to accept this because we can destroy their de their destroyers, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to accept it. Just to remove their strategic strategic points. Ah, uh, this is fantastic, in fact. Okay. Let's get ready for their destroyer raid, or wait, we're sinking down two ships, what? Is this us, are we destroyer? I guess it's not an enemy raid, it's us raiding. Unusual. Destroyer raid with two light cruisers. Okay, well, we'll take it. Make sure that, I'm so glad the window is now not an issue, I don't even have to adjust the window, which is quite nice. Sink any two ships, we don't care about sinking transports, honestly. Gonna hold fire momentarily. Swoop in. Okay, that one might be more important. Looks like it's moving a little bit faster. Alright, let's just do this. Go ahead and open fire. Okay, that was quick. No. Nope. Do not detach, we need you, possibly. We can go back and, well, I guess we won't have an opportunity later. Let's go squad max, try to hunt down this ship. I think it is a minesweeper or maybe a destroyer. It's moving pretty slow, so probably a minesweeper. Yeah. And we're closing fast enough, we might be able to get some shots off before she enters port. The fact that she's trying to enter port means she's probably an actual ship, not a strategic ship. Oh, patrol boat. So it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. There's a land feature which we don't care about. Let's go back down to 16. And await our next target, which we didn't have to wait long, did we? Another minesweeper. But we have a ship over there. Let's go squad max. This is a four inch coastal battery. That's our target right there for sure. All right, let's go for it. Forget this patrol boat. Forget it. Okay, we actually sank two already, but this is what we're interested in. These. Probably not that. Okay, sighting unknown ships. I don't care about anything but these destroyers. If we can get a few of these, this is huge. And I'm gonna play very risky here because we really, really want these destroyers. Like, really, really want them. Okay, here's your chance. Got one down. Let's cut this one across. Perfect. That should be another one. This, yep, she's dead, I presume. We actually launched a torpedo, funny. Um, keep going. We're gonna get a lot of damage done in this one. Two destroyers down, they're damn strategic destroyers. Make mincemeat of them. Keep your bow on just so we don't take too many torpedo hits though. Okay, that's, uh, that's a few hits. Hit those. And I think that's all we're going to be able to manage to do. They are now retreating back to port. Um, I wish we could actually hit that Epe class. Some weird game physics going on there. Unknown ship. Oh, okay, it's <laughs> hidden. I guess they just entered port, but we're still reportedly. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll actually have these ships. Oh, wait, you can go after, this looks like a destroyer. It is. Oh, man, the Roma's much faster than us. <laughs> Strange. Can we chase her away? Keep her from port? Looks like it. Get her, get her. Oh, she entered port. This is such bogus. I do the same thing though. I'm not. I shouldn't complain. <laughs> she dodged right into port. 
doesn't make sense, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so let's go cruise speed plus two. I don't care about the gun feet, the land feature, I should say. Um, okay, we set another transport. We'll sink her as well. This is at least going to be a lot of victory points. What is Roma doing? Hey, come on, Roma. I guess she's picking up a lot of different survivors. There's one more port over here we can uh, attend to before leaving. Just in case we get lucky, this has been a nice mission. Ah, I wish we had been able to sink. I mean, if we weren't so close to port, some of those destroyers definitely would have been dead. I mean, they probably also would have been able to run away, but yeah, that one heavy, oh, it's close, but two two less, we're ten, two less ships to deal with, that's nice. Okay, minor victory points otherwise. You know the war is, you know, drawing to a big lull when you're excited about sinking two destroyers. <laughs> Anyway, they did move a lot of forces back there. 22 back here again. Yeah, they're smart. They keep putting ships here to prevent, well, us from doing what we want to do. Gosh, it's just, it's almost time. We need a technology technological breakthrough before we can just do something with this money. And it's not, it's good, but it's not great. I don't think it's the one we're looking for. Um, yeah, I guess we accept this. It's 105. So, look at the map. Eight. I guess we can go back in. Eight is exactly one battleship, I think. Um, well, we can put two in if they're just going to continue to blockade this. I mean, uh, block our attempt to invade. We'll send two in. That will certainly cause blockade. I feel like we're just going to be doing this dance ad infinitum. It'll never end. <laughs> Nobody will ever win this war. Uh. Ah, well that's not great. Okay. Small engagement. 40 point, what the heck? How does this work out? <laughs> need to be very careful with our battleship, but if it's a small engagement, I think we'll be okay. They're just gonna run away, right? Like, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Making us fight an armored, an, an AMC? Their battleship? This is demeaning. But maybe it counts for, you know, victory points for our, our uh, battleship can get a little combat experience. I'll be happy about that. We'll take it. Um, how are we doing? Fair and good. That's still fine. We're blockading. Point situation is 16 to like nothing versus, yeah, they moved a lot of their ships. Well, actually, they just moved them out of Northern Europe. They're not, well, our rest is seven though. We do have to be careful. So while we're also here, we will begin raiding with, let's go with the two that are on good shape. Do some counter raiding. But the blockade itself should be damaging. The Defensori Italiano, please. Okay, it's in the Mediterranean at least. Coastal raid with our battleships. Okay, it's 80 points. They declined 80 points. Okay, fine. Our sparrow will fight this. Especially if we can get yet another cruiser out of the way. That would be really nice. Sad to sad, sad that we're, it's just a victory point game. But, I mean, uh, just a strategic point game. Max, let's go down to normal. Let's actually try to fight this guy. I think this is another Forbin, just guessing, but. Yep, another Forbin. We would prefer to be approaching from the south, that's better on in terms of the wind. No, do not lose her. I don't care if the weather gets bad. We're taking this one. Just keep going. Got her. All right, let's slow down. This is gonna be get a little more dicey considering torpedo range is about what we're at. To make any kind of change of direction, we should spot it. Slowly catching, okay. And again, just 
push to the wind side. Oh, are you kidding me? No, no, no. We know this is a Prospero. We, I mean, not a Prospero. We know this is a light cruiser. Don't be panicked by the armored cruiser marking. And let's take a look. That went way too fast. Okay, we took a few hits. Took a lot of hits, but then the punishment began to go all their way. Lots of punishment towards them. So what can happen right now is basically they can launch a torpedo and hit us. Which means that... Ah, turret destroyed. Well, that's not good. It is on this side. So let's switch to the other side. Well, they're going to help us with that significantly, aren't they? Come on, land some hits here. This is perfect. Come on, come on. There we go. Avoiding torpedoes. Let's dodge those torpedoes desperately. <laughs> okay, now they've launched... Let's see, how many... Ah, I don't have the actual information for the ship. The Forbin, how many... Well, let's just take... This is actually desperate. <laughs> we want to really know what we're dealing with here. Let's look up the Forbin. She has... Two torpedo tubes. Okay, so her starboard side has just been used, I think, what is it, 30 minutes to reload? So it could be less than that, but let's just... We, we can get really close, basically, with this. We know that she won't be launching torpedoes with her starboard side. We're launching torpedoes. That looked like a hit. It was not. Okay, that might be close to 30 now, so let's start edging away. Perfect, we got it. Beautiful, beautiful. One more down. Oof. Okay. Um, that's a, that's really good. I'm quite happy about that. We did blockade them. Our ships are still doing okay in Northern Europe. So we'll leave them yet one more month. Oh, okay. You can see the war. How long we've been at war for here. That's not even that many months. Three and a half years. Not too bad. Blockading. Let's see the point situation. Yeah. 33 to 22. Pretty happy that we're raiding now because that seems to be the right decision. We're blockading, which hopefully will pay dividends soon. And you know what? I'm going to call this episode to a close here. Nice 32-minute episode. Um, I don't know. If this is getting boring, let me know, and I'll just advance the war off camera. But until then, thanks for watching, and take care.